Hi guys, in this revised video, I'm going to teach you how to do the passenger section. This is going to be a series of videos. Um, I'm getting better at using Inventor. I've learned some tips, uh, some tips. I've learned some tips and techniques that uh, I think are going to make this a lot easier. Um, and, and it really has to do with lessons I've learned over like constraining and what it takes to make something fully constrained in sketch mode and how using things and, and doing things in three-dimensional mode is much, much easier. Things like the fillets, for instance, if we work in 3D mode on there, it's just a lot easier to use. Um, so that's what I want to show you today. Uh, I'm going to build this in a series of videos. In this first video of the series, I'm basically just going to create this first piece, this outer shell, and extrude it backwards, and then we're going to do this little extrusion on the front face. It is important to note that um, even though they give us dimensions here, like this 0.39 that you see right here, okay, that 0.39 is actually a rounded value. It's only showing two decimals, and it's not exactly 0.39 because you'll figure out, if you really look closely, that 0.39 on this side means that it's not 0.39 on this side, and this piece is centered. That extrusion in the front is centered. So there are easy ways to do it with geometric constraints, and that's what I'm going to focus on. This rectangle in the middle is placed halfway up from the top to the bottom and halfway left to right, so it's very easy to center. We want to start, though, by drawing a 3.17 wide by, sorry, by 1.53 tall rectangle and extruding it. So that's what I'm going to do first here. I'm going to start a 2D sketch. I'm going to work on the XY plane. I'm going to make sure whenever I draw my first rectangle that I'm going to lock into this green dot right here on the origin because that's going to constrain it and keep the thing from moving left to right. Okay, and again, if I flip back to the other screen, I can see that it's 3.17 wide and 1.53 tall. So I'm going to type those in as I go along by typing 3.17 and hitting the tab button to get 1.53 for the height. And then I'm going to hit enter and my rectangle is drawn. I can't see it, but if I click on the front button here, it's going to zoom back out. All right, so there we go. I'm going to finish my sketch. Notice, by the way, right click and OK. This thing down here, it says fully constrained. That's, that's very important, OK? So I'm going to go and I've, I've got fully constrained. I'm going to finish the sketch, zoom back out to where we can see it, and there's my outline, OK? Now I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to, oh, that's my dimensions. OK, now I'm going to extrude it, and I need to know the depth of the extrusion. In this case, I find it right here. It is 3.17 units deep. So I'm going to come back, and I'm going to extrude. I'm going to go backwards, and this is an important point because if I go backwards, that means that this rectangle here, this sketch surface, will be available for me to use later on. Not so important here, but it will be important in later pieces. So I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go a distance of 3.17. I'm going to click OK. Now before I go any further, I think I want to go ahead and fillet the edges. Okay, And so when I do this, I notice that the fillet, I'm looking for dimensions, and I see some different dimensions here, and I notice that here, this one right here, this is the one that I need, and it says 4XR.30. And what that means is that there are four corners on this thing. There are four corners, and each one of them has a radius of 0.3. Sorry about the pixelation there when I zoom in. Each one of the four corners on this is a radius of 0.3 for the fillet. So I'm going to come back here. There is a different fillet here, and you'll notice in sketch mode when I'm working in 2D, the fillet button is here. Right? That's a 2D fillet. When I'm in 3D mode, we have a different fillet button, but it accomplishes the same thing. It works the same way. Click here, and I go in. I've already forgot the dimension. I think it's 0.3, right? Yes, 0.3 for the radius, and I'm going to come, and I'm going to click. Now, look, most kids, I've seen a lot of kids that do this, and click OK, and they're done. Okay, But I want you to understand, you can click all of these edges at the same time, and if I do that, then when I click the check mark, it creates one fillet with all four rounded features, right? And that's pretty convenient. So let's come back over here. Let's work on the front face. For this video, we're going we're gonna to finish this off by adding that front extrusion in. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to look at the dimensions. Now this is an extrusion that's 0.57 deep. It's a rectangle that starts off at 2.4 wide and 0.93 tall. So 2.4 by 9.93, okay? So I'm going to click here and create a new sketch. I'm using Autodesk 2016, by the way, if you're curious about that. I need to go 2 point, uh, geez, I already forgot, 2.40 and 0.93 for my two dimensions. I tabbed to get between one and the other, and I have this, okay? And by the way, it doesn't matter why I drew, like, watch this. I could have drawn the rectangle off over here. It really doesn't matter because what I'm about to do is I'm going to center this thing in the middle of this rectangular shape. 
I'm going to go click on project geometry, not project, but project, like projection, okay? And I'm going to project this geometry here, which is nice because that means I can use this border here and I can lock in. It's already constrained from the previous drawing, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this constraint first, the horizontal constraint. And what I'm going to do, you'll notice this little dotted line that shows up. It's hard to see probably, but it's red there. And that red dotted line says I'm going to line things up on this red dotted line. Now I want to line up this green dot here. That's the midpoint of this rectangle. And I'm going to line it up vertically with this. Okay, so now you can see they lie on the same red dotted line. So what that did did is it means that my rectangle here cannot move up or down. It can move left or right but it cannot move up or down. So now all we need to do is we need to get this to about the right location here, right, somewhere in there. And I'm going to do the same thing, but with vertical alignment, okay? I'm going to vertically align on this red dot, the middle of this line, green dot, to the middle of this one, this green dot. Now my sketch is fully constrained. Finish the sketch. Let's go back into a three-dimensional view, an angle view so I can see what's going on. And now I need to extrude. I'm going to extrude here. The shape that I want to extrude is this cut out here, and immediately it wants to pull it out, right? Well, this is called, and I'm adding material if I use this type of extrusion. I really want to go down to this option here, which is cut away material. So I'm going to cut away some material. How far do I want to cut it back? I want to go a distance of 0.57. And I click OK, and there it is. Now, one last piece to this, and then we'll be done for this video. I need to come back and I need to find out the fillets. And you can see here, I have a 0.3 fillet on the outside. I have a 0.2 fillet on the inside here. So these are going to be four rounded fillets of 0.2 each. I'm going to go to the three-dimensional fillet tool. I'm going to type in my new radius of 0.2. I'm going to go around and select all four edges at the same time, right? It's going to take some viewing. Get that. Whoops. And there's one. And there's the four. And I've got all four. I click OK and it's done. That's a good start for now. We're going to round up the first video right now. I'm, I'm going to finish this off and I'm going to go create a second video in which I kind of repeat the process on the other side. In fact, you know what? I'm going to skip it on the other side, but understand this. I'm going to leave it up to you to complete this, but do know that whenever you go to your dimension sheet, okay, this front rectangle is a 2.4 by 0.93 cutout, and on the back side it's a little bit bigger. It's 2.5 and it's 1. Same depth, okay? But you can repeat that process, and then the next video I'll come out, and we'll, we'll talk about this thing on the top and how to do it. It's kind of easy, but there are some things about the dimensioning and the placement that I want to point out. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, and it gets you going on the passenger section.